Hey everyone, it's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth, your home for MJ Stocks, Crypto Assets, and Interviews, also home to the best MJ community on the planet. Today's Tuesday, it's September 12th. Hope you're well. And in this video, we're going to be discussing canopy growth. We've been discussing it a lot lately, and rightly so. Uh, we're seeing some wild days in the market over the last uh, few trading days. And today, we got that pullback, 20 to 30% pullback that we were looking for. But in this video, uh, we're going to be talking about the correlation that Canopy has to Tupperware. If you recall, we are, I was on a live stream and I can't forgive me the person who mentioned it. I can't remember the person's name. I wish I could give them credit. But they said there's a massive correlation between Tupperware and Canopy. And we brought it up on the live stream and it was actually hilarious. Uh, so we're going to look at that and uh, see how that actually played out and how we could have seen this move coming. I know it sounds a little silly with, at the surface, but uh, at the end of the day, it, it worked, right? It was a good indication and it was... The correlation was verbatim and uh, we had a big move in Tupperware and then a similar move ensued on CGC. So again, this isn't, you know, technical analysis and correlations, they come and go, but I found it was just interesting. But we're also going to take a look at the chart and I'll give my thoughts and opinions on what to expect in the days, weeks ahead uh, in terms of price action. But before we get to it, make sure to smash the like, help support me in the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. If you're new, you can subscribe. All that good stuff, you'll be notified on any future videos or when I go live. Make sure to give Pow Group a follow on X, formerly Twitter. The handle for that's at Group Pow. Group Pow. I'm going to be using that as my platform of choice going forward. So at Group Pow. And also doing a 10% off for the rest of September on Pow Merch. So you can go here, uh, order a ton of merchandise. I've already got about 20 items that were ordered. So thanks to everybody. I love each and every one of you who've been supporting me along the way. It really does mean a lot. And uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome to have this memorabilia as we go through. And you can get your Team Canopy, Tilray, and XRP sweaters. And uh, like I said, they're uh, like getting a lot of really good feedback about that. So uh, if you just go to the powmerch.ca, you can check out, get 10% off. And the code, the code is at the top there, uh, powg420. And then there's tons of links down here as well. If you go to the About section, these are all the... Uh, devices. These are all the services I use on a daily basis. They're trusted vetted links. And uh, something I wanted to mention as well is that Wellsimple is giving away anywhere from forty to twelve hundred dollars. So you can use my affiliate link. I'll get a kickback. Uh, but there's some great deals going on at the moment, and you can go and hit that Wellsimple link there. And uh, if you sign up with my link, you can potentially win that as well. And then Ledger just re released the new Ruby Red uh, Ledger Nano. And uh, these are looking sharp. And uh, again, I get a kickback for that if you want to use that link on my website. And then also TradingView, uh, which is the charting software that I use. And this is how you can, I'll show you how to put that indicator in for Tupperware later on and how we found that. Uh, but you can, there's a link for all of those, TradingView, Wellsimple, and Ledger, uh, all here. So we'll take a look at the TradingView post that I made. So this is the post on X. So what do Canopy Growth and Tupperware have in common? And this was back on August 9th. And I showed the chart here. Actually, I already had it brought up. So this was the chart that we were looking at. And as you can see, it was following verbatim on the downside, right? So this is, the orange line is Tupperware. And then the regular one is Canopy. And you can see here it was following, following, following. And then we had a big move before CGC moved. And then I took the fractal and I placed it on top of CGC. And look how crazy this is. <laughs> that exact same, this those blue bars are, is the fractal from this breakout right here of Tupperware, that orange line. And then I took that fractal and put it over here into Canopy and off the lows, it says we could go as high as about anywhere from, uh, you know, two to three dollars USD. And here we are, we're very, very close to that. And we still haven't started daily consolidation yet, weekly consolidation. So uh, if we bring up the CGC chart here, you can see the correlation here to Tupperware. And look at the massive volume on CGC. I mentioned that as well in my video that uh, we had all-time high record monthly volume on the NASDAQ back in July. And that's what we want to see near a bottom is volume climaxes, right? And then we want to see, you know, two, 300, it's almost 500% off the lows now that canopy's up, right? And people are still wondering why are some names running and why are some names not? This is what they do, right? The more beaten down names, like everybody thought this company was going to go bankrupt. They were throwing that around. They had a price target of a zero, zero dollars, right? Um, so... It was beaten down the most. It was down 99% from February 2021 highs. But again, if you take a look from where we are now, it's only down 97, right? And then if we look at the bottom there, it was down 99. So down, it's still down 97% from February 2021 highs. Imagine what it's going to be like if we break to new all-time highs, right? I'm not saying it's going to go there, but it could. This isn't financial advice either. I'm not a financial advisor. This is for information purposes only. And uh, yeah, do your own research, but... Um, you know, I, I think CGC is going to, I'm a shareholder. I think it's going to do well long-term, but uh, yeah, you can just go into, you can add a 
comparison here. You can compare symbols. So you can just click on that little button here on Trading View and you can add in TUP. Uh, that's how I did that. But we'll reset it here and we'll look at what to expect in the days and weeks ahead. So I've mentioned be very, very cautious. We're likely going to see uh, you know, where FOMO, people get FOMO, right? I had tons of people commenting on my videos. I'm losing my ever-loving mind here at the moment. And, uh, you know, I don't I don't know what to do. Uh, and right now we're daily overbought. So you don't want to generally buy when we're overbought on the RSI. That's overvalued. You want to buy when we're down here when we're undervalued and oversold, right? So anything 30 and below is considered oversold. And then anything 70 and above is considered overbought. And if you bought when we were heavily oversold here, uh, right there at that indicator, like I said, you'd be up almost 500%. It's about 460% there off of the lows. So congrats to the bulls. We are coming down. We could potentially start daily consolidation tomorrow. So if we lose the low of the day today at 131, then we're going to start daily consolidation and we'll look for a higher low somewhere around, you know, that dollar area. And again, uh, CGC uh, is the second day in a row closing above $1 USD. So it needs to do it for 10 consecutive business days, trading days. So just eight more. And, uh, yeah, we could still pull back to a dollar and just be healthy. In my opinion, there was some news out today. Uh, let's just see if I can bring it up real quick here. So what, what they're doing is they're manipulating the market like they always do. I mentioned this to Power Group private members. I mentioned this on a couple of my videos. Watch, they're going to come out. There's going to be a bunch of people saying that they're in. A, they're going to oppose this, right? So now they're saying uh, 14 GOP congressional lawmakers tell DEA to keep MJ in Schedule 1 and reject top health agencies' recommendations. So this is how they manipulate the markets. They do it right after things have run two, 300% and they're due to cool off. People say, oh, it's because of the DA's comment or the, or the GOP's comment, right? But it's not. It's because of the technicals and we're getting extended to the upside right so this is how they do it they play they play people like a violin i call this and you know <laughs> it's probably going to go schedule three if i had to guess i think that safe banking is not going to be the catalyst that breaks us out of this multi-year bear market it's this is all because of rescheduling right and potentially schedule three and removing 280e and it could even get descheduled right i saw an article from today from normal that they're really trying to and i encourage you to reach out to your representative as well that that Rescheduling isn't enough. We need it descheduled and we need it treated just like alcohol and tobacco, right? It's medicine of the future. It's medicine and, and those are poison, right? So uh, it's time for a change. But like I said, from the high of the day today, CGC was down 31%, but we're still not even below yesterday's low, right? So it's a 30% pullback from the high of the day. But in my opinion, tomorrow we could still pull back another 10, maybe even 20%. But again, it'll just be healthy. But we're looking for a daily higher low. And if you're looking for an entry, again, not financial advice, don't, don't buy anything because of anything I say or write, but uh, you could potentially look to add it as we back test a dollar. They're probably going to use that as a way to freak people out. Uh, they'll create maybe a flush of a dollar and then they'll close it above a dollar or maybe they'll flush it below a dollar and they'll, people will be like, oh, look, we're going back. We're going to do the reverse split and we're doomed again, bankrupt, right? Throwing around the B word and, uh, and then they'll run it into, and they might even approve it, right? We have the September 25th shareholder meeting. So we'll find out on uh, in less than two weeks if the vote was approved. But even if the share consolidation and the reverse split gets approved, it doesn't mean it's going to be enacted, right? So, uh, and they have until January 11, 2024 to regain compliance. And they could even get an extension, another, you know, 180 day extension, six month, ex six month extension. So uh, it's all possible, but I think they're going to use this as a way to play with people's emotions. They're going to use this. Nothing goes straight up from a straight line forever. Nothing goes straight down in a straight line forever, right? So they're going to use this as a way to uh, to manipulate the market as they always do. So uh, again, I call this, I I wish it wasn't so, but you know, obviously there's going to be tons of people. There's still a lot of stigma around this, right? And it's going to be hard to break. So, but in my opinion, I don't think there's going to be any issues. I think it will get schedule three and maybe even higher, maybe even descheduled. And that would send this market absolutely soaring. And there's some progress with safe banking. We could see some information on that in the next few days. Again, not holding my breath there. Uh, I'm more interested in rescheduling or even descheduling is the most likely scenario. And I think I still think schedule three is the most likely scenario. But going to end it there, let me know in the comments below what you think of this Tupperware correlation. And uh, shout out to the person who mentioned that again, I can't give them credit because I can't remember what the username was. But uh, that was that played out to a tweet to a T and we could even still continue going from here, right? <laughs> Who knows? Um, ACB was the leader today. And again, they're just going to use that as a way to uh, run different names so that people get FOMO. And then they're like, oh, no, I'm going to sell this one and buy this one. Look, it's been going. And they get impatient. And then they buy that one. It pulls back 10 20%. And then another one runs, right? If you remember back in 2017, 2018, when Canada legalized, um, you know, they would do that. Cron was running like crazy, right? And then they dropped that one. And then they just take turns, right? There's laggards and leaders. And, you know, 
if you're wondering if your name hasn't MJ hasn't ran yet, it, it's just, it's just going to take time. But you want to be in the companies that are sound, uh, that are financially sound, or that have a really good uh, business and that are differentiated, and uh, just be very you know diversify as well, but be very cautious as well. Um, and again, we don't have a crystal ball, but leading into the end of the year, there's so many catalysts. MJ Act up for renewal here in Canada. We've got Germany. We've got legalization of potential medical in the U.S. We've got rescheduling, descheduling potentially. we got safe banking. we got Florida potentially on the ballot, which could be the biggest market in the U.S. Uh, in terms of adult use sales. Um, there's tons of other catalysts that I'm probably forgetting as well, uplisting to the Nike C and the NASDAQ. So going in there, it's Rod with Todd Group. Let me know what you think of this news and the Tupperware correlation. Thanks again for joining us in the Pursuit of Wealth, and we'll see you on the next video.